Hey, my friends, Ernie, captain of the under-20 women's national team. Uh, a big week for you guys. Um, you've done all the hard work. Um, with St. Lucia out now, does this give you an edge or does it put a little more pressure on the fact that you won't have two games that you think you can actually win? You're down now to, you know, because Jamaica would be the favorites. Mm -hmm. But does it put more pressure on you guys? I don't think it puts more pressure. In a way, it's kind of, it's makes it a little bit easier for us because then we don't have to exert ourselves with that last game, with another game. Like we can really get Curacao the first time, come in with the whole support from everybody, like fresh for the tournament and then have our legs saved without having another game with Jamaica. Um, obviously we're gonna have Jamaica first, which we were excited about, but um, we're just taking one game at a time. I don't think it really changes much. If anything, it's just one less game we don't have to worry about. How do you help to make sure that your teammates are motivated enough to get through Wednesday night and then, like you say, put your feet up and be ready for come Sunday? Um, what I'm going to do personally is we just have to keep that mindset. We just have to know that we're home, we have the whole Bermuda behind us, and we have to be behind ourselves. At the end of the day, on the field, it's just us. Our coach is on the side right there, but it comes down to us. It comes down to working for each other and putting what we have to do to get the job done. What do you think is the significance of playing at home? Um, I'm extremely excited. It's everything. I mean, we're home. It's um, we have our friends and families and friends of friends and people that may not even have known of how much that we've been doing with football. So it's that's the most exciting thing about it. <laughs> what what do you? How would you evaluate the preparations that you guys have had in the short time or the or the time span in which you've been with this team back on the island? Um, for the first time back on the island, we've done a lot more fitness. We've had. Um, more of like a think more of a strict mindset of knowing what we have to do. We've been training six times a week. We not even just at BFA. We've done Admiralty House, Horseshoe Bay, and it's been fun. It's also because we have people that are away. So coming back and having to dig deep with our fitness, it's hope like it's preparing us to dig deep on the field. So it's been extremely well. I've, um, I think my team is ready for it, and we're extremely excited. Are you anxious for Wednesday night to come? Extremely. I was just talking to my parents about it today. Um, it is like the days leading up to it. It's it's very anxious and nervous, but it's a good nervous and excitement, and I'm just waiting for the whistle to blow. All right, well, good luck. We'll be there on Wednesday night. Thank you so much. Come support us, Bermuda.